Well, you guys remember in the last video where I was going to paint the running boards, I devised a plan to use two different types of primer, one for plastic followed by one for auto, and that didn't really work out well. Well, here's the first coat of primer. The second coat of primer, we had a problem, meaning that it is not compatible with the paint that I used at first. So this has to be sanded off now. We have to use one primer and a compatible top coat. And, in other news, I did not like, I tested a pattern of silver here. It's not like a metallic, it does look aluminum, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So that point, that paint is going back to the store as well, along with the unused primer. I'm going to get a matching. Rust-Oleum primer and coat. Well, I was unable to find a good replacement for a metallic silver in any type of Rust-Oleum or any type of enamel so I decided to go ahead and switch to white. Second pick so first I'm just making a swatch just to see if the color will fit. Now this is dupe color it's expensive and these are short little cans probably gonna take about 10 of those probably cost about 70-80 bucks for that so I'm going to compare it. Here it is on the right. I'm waiting for it to dry. On the left, this piece of cardboard, smooth cardboard with a shiny surface. It's still primed and when the right side dries, I'll spray the other side with a Rust-Oleum enamel and see if it matches fairly closely. And if it does, I'm using the Rust-Oleum. It's just more economical. It's a great paint. Now I realize that being forced to choose a new color that any color that I choose is probably not going to be as good as the dupe color that comes in the Dodge Bright White which is the original color of the Explorer. But I did find this Rust-Oleum which comes in gloss white and although it's not a perfect match you can even tell by the caps I did do a test pattern on a piece of cardboard I don't know if you can tell by the picture but Rust-Oleum bright white or Rust-Oleum gloss white is a bit noticeably more white than the dupe color. So I took the test pattern and I'm going to just take it over and take a look at it against the vehicle. On this side there's a bright window with a shade on it. So that's good natural lighting. But, you know, the camera really doesn't tell the story because, you know, as you know, there's all kind of problem with cameras and uh, showing color correctly as opposed to the naked eye. But, it's going to go along the trim down here and it's not, per well, not perfect. I think it's going to be good enough. Well, here's the first coat of the color coat after a couple coats of primer and some block sanding and I don't know if you can tell the sheen or not but it's leveling nicely and along the back fender is it perfect? no does it look nice? yes has really been iffy lately, but I've managed to get the fifth coat on the running boards, and that's the fifth and final coat, no more, and uh, it was calm enough this morning to where I was able to get it done, but now the wind's picked back up, and you can't rattle can it in the wind. So the question arises, now that I've returned the like seven cans of unused Rust-Oleum aluminum color, because I didn't like the color, what am I going to do with the one that I have left over? So I went walking around my shop trying to find some things and I only found one use for it. 
I'll show you that. Why? Why not? Now I don't think anybody has seen shop 2 and this is the uh, garage that's attached to my house and do I have a full-size Bridgeport Series 1 milling machine with a 9 by 42 inch table with an Accurite DRO? Why yes. Yes I do. And then my bragging? Well... Anyhow, if you're going to lug one of these things home, they weigh quite a few thousand pounds, um, you're going to want to show what you got and the lettering on the bridge port plate has rubbed off over years of cleaning this thing with solvents. So I'm just going to reapply a little bit of that aluminum paint just to the lettering, make it look nice again. How's that? And here's the tools to get that done. I have my paintbrush, my Rust-Oleum aluminum color, leftover paint, and a Dixie paper plate on which to spray the paint so they can use the foam brush to dab it in and then dab it on those letters. I've done this before and it's pretty easy to do. Just take a little bit of that silver paint, dab this thing the flat part on there so you get some paint. Come up to the bridge port. See how that's coming out? It's looking good. Let me finish this without having to hold the camera just so I don't screw it up. And I'll show it to you when it's done. There she is. Ain't she sweet? Yes. Yes she is. Every guy should have one of these in their garage, fellas. Now go get them. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Subscribe that way you can get some uh, notifications for future videos. And if you want to, you can ask some questions. And I'll be sure and try to answer them for you. Have a nice day, people.